Billsthorpe Colliery in Nottinghamshire first opened in 1927. The village has strong links with the pit. Today, hundreds of people turned out to see a new memorial to miners who died between 1927 and 1997. I was one of the survivors of the 1993 Billsthorpe Colliery disaster. I'll find as though I want to come in, have my own moments. It is really magnificent. I, I doubt if there will be another one like it built in England. The names of the miners, 76 men and one woman, were read out. Samuel Paul, Joseph Robert Tyus. Local school children helped to design the memorial, but one young man played a major role in the project. Jamie Davenport, tell me, how did you come up with this particular design? I had a choice of three and I chose David Lamp because if I do a canary it's going to take a millennium to do the feathers. Mine now do all the equipment which is going to take ages and um, I just thought, so David Lamp, I'm going to be able to do it. His classmates told me they were proud of the sandstone memorial. It could be some pe people's grandparents or mums and dads and um, we'd just like to remember them um, if they got trapped or um, got killed in the mine or anything. My dad was in the mine and luckily he survived all the accidents and I hope that he's going to be well looked after. Earlier there was a special service in the village hall, an opportunity to reflect on mining disasters over the last century. The colliery has been closed for 14 years now, but the memory of those who lost their lives will live on for years to come. Rajiv Popperton, Billsthorpe, for Central Tonight.